So let's assume we're looking for US-based CTOs who work in a particular industry as well as particular company size. If I click here on company headcount, I can see that I can select anywhere from self-employed up to 10,000 plus. I will say I'm selecting 501 to 1,000. And as I do, it tells me how many people there are in any given bucket, but it also tells me for the bucket I've selected, how many leads it found. I can add them up. So for instance, if I add up, let's say uh, 1,000 to 5,000, it will add them up and it says, okay, there's 98 million results. I'll just deselect it for the sake of this example and move on to role-based filters. So the function filter, as I'm looking for CTOs, it's not precise enough because it will just tell me who is working in information technology, engineering, or else. This is a good indicator of what other titles I could be looking for. For instance, I could be looking for vice president of information technology, director of IT. I could be looking for IT directors and so on. So this is a good way to search for titles that I have maybe missed, but I would prefer to use the role-based titles because I know precisely who I'm talking to. So if I go to job titles here, I can type CTO and it's going to give me a suggestion of chief technology officer. If I'll include it, Right away, combined with the previous filter, it tells me that there are 9.5 thousand results. So now it's only for chief technology officers, and I can also add CTO because some people may not have this exactly as a title, but CTO more precisely. So if I add it up, I can see now that I have 11,000 results. So continuing in the filters, I can choose the seniority level, if whether they're entry level or, or else. Usually CTO, I know that they are already a senior enough whether they have a certain amount of uh, years in the com company or uh, also in the position that they're in. In terms of geography, I'll select United States. And here, what's quite helpful is in all the filters primarily, you can actually exclude some of them. So for instance, if I target the United States aside from New York, I have nothing against New York. It's just that I have a salesperson, for instance, who works already on New York and I don't want to touch on their market. I can type New York on the filters. So New York. And you can see I can either click on exclude, or if I've already selected it, I can pass the mouse on it and click on this, which is going to make sure to exclude it. I always recommend excluding if you have exclusions, just to make sure that you don't target them in your searches. So I'll remove that just for now. And in terms of industry, I can select several ones, and I can also exclude some of uh, those that I do not target, just to make sure they're not on my search. Right now, I'm saying I'm targeting healthcare. So here I have hospitals and healthcare. I can include, and it's going to trim down the search to 108 results. This is a lot lower than we had just before, but it's also a lot more specific because these are exactly the people I want to target.